Hi, Summer Starfish. I wanted to do um, an activity uh, with you or show you how to do it. Normally, I'd be with you and we'd do it together, but this summer, we're at home. So, um, usually, I would have my friends go around the school and find some items and put it in the bag or um, on a, a tray and then come back together and then we would do an experiment. So I just gathered a bunch of stuff from my home in a bag, so I made a collection of interesting objects. Um, I'm a teacher, so I have a ton of weird stuff at my house. And then um, the activity calls for dark construction paper. Now, uh, this is the darkest colors I have. I have a green and I have a purple. If you have black or you have dark blue, those are actually the very best to see results of this experiment. So I didn't have any of that in my house, so I thought I would try this. Um, maybe next time I go to school or I go to the store, I will buy some and try it again. There's also, um, it's called sun sensitive paper that's really good for this experiment. Uh, but I think it's fun to know that you can just do it with just about anything that you have. Um, I'm here at my house. Um, it's a sunny day on Whidbey Island, so I thought it'd be fun to do some sunny day science. So I have my paper ready and I have my objects. So um, I'm just going to pull a few out. So I found objects that had like negative space, which means open parts that you could possibly see some interest. So I'm going to just start pulling out some of my objects here. You might have some of these at home. This is a, a potato masher. This is a strawberry basket. Strawberries are really good right now. This is one of my favorite shiny earrings, but it has an interesting negative space and positive space. Some empty space in there, so I'm going to put it on here. So just collect some um, objects. I have, do you guys remember what this is called? We use this at school. It makes holes in our paper called a hole punch. Um, I found a stick. Let's see, I'll put that one right there. Um, these have some interesting shapes that I think you're going to notice something fun that you can do. Um, I have a magnifying glass that doesn't have the glass in it anymore. As I said, I have a bunch of stuff at my house because I'm a teacher. Um, scissors are fun. Be very careful and make sure to ask your adult if it's okay to use the item that you found because they may say, no, that's for the kitchen only, or they may have some other safety guideline. So these are sharp scissors, but I'm an adult, so I'm going to go like this so that I can see how it creates that negative space on my paper. And I don't know if I mentioned this. It's windy at my house. I don't know if it's windy at your house. But I taped my paper down so that it would stay put. And I'm going to put this right here on this flat and see, see how I opened it up so I can get a different picture. Okay. So you just get your paper and you get your items. Let me see if I can pull out a few more. Oh, I thought this would be fun. I happen to have a magnet in my letter for Miss Michelle. And then I happened to cut up a bunch of um, paper towel rolls because I thought they made an interesting shape. And I was actually going to use them for something else, but I think I'm going to use them for this. So I'm going to create something on that. When I'm done, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, so be creative. This is a really fun thing. Um, it goes between your toes when you're getting a pedicure. But look at that interesting shape that that might create. These are fun. You think it's gonna, should I do it like this or should I do it like this? So when you're looking at an item, kind of look around and see if it does what you want or what shape you think it might create. I do have some of these. These are fun. We have these at school and I use them every year. I happen to have some at my house. Um, do you remember what this cube shape is called? Yep, that's some dice. That's some dice right here. And I'm going to add one more item and then I'm going to show you. These are really fun. These are really good for practicing and picking up things too. So, 
we're going to put these in a very sunny spot for about three to five hours, a good portion of the day, and leave them. Just watch them if you want to for a while, but three to five hours is a long time, so you might get ready to do something else. So go do some other stuff and then come back after about five hours or, you know, if it gets dark. Um, because we're going to see what the power of the sun can do to our creation. And when you're all done, it kind of creates a fun, um, I'm just going to say like a special puzzle at the end. Um, so I'm going to leave it right there. Have fun in the summery sun and collecting objects and creating something new.